everyone and welcome to my channel. This is my take on Disney's Moana. So I was really excited to do this tutorial. I know a lot of you have been requesting it and you know I needed to come back with another everyday Disney look and I felt like this is perfect for everyday if you're really into those dolly type of eyes. I just felt that this look would not have been complete without this fabulous curly spiral curl wig right here. And this is for a brand on AliExpress called Namer Hair, and it came in this box right here. Now this beautiful wig is a human hair wig. This is a 13 by 6 wig, and like I said, it is human hair, so if you want to straighten it out, you can do that. Of course, I wanted to keep it big and curly like this for my Moana transformation. And this wig right here is 20 inches long, so imagine when you straighten it, it's going to look beautiful. And it is a natural black hair color. And uh, the wig cap is like medium and I can tell because it's kind of big on me. You can dye this wig, I believe, because it is human hair. So if you're not crazy about this color, you can always dye it. Like I said, you can always straighten it and it did come with baby hairs. And I'll zoom in just so you guys can see how to style it in case you're interested in doing a Moana look and want a wig like this as well. So as you can see, zoomed in, here are the baby hairs that make the wig look natural. This wig is slightly big on me. I, when I lift it, you can tell that it's a wig. So the wig cap is a bit big, but the hairline is kind of natural for me. I like it. I would not wear this wig for every day, only for cosplay purposes, but I think it's perfect. But I think maybe if I straighten it out, then I'll like it more. If you're interested in this type of wig, you can always just check out the link below and then you will be able to see all the other kinds. So right here, it's styled nice and beautifully. I just put it in kind of a half up kind of look for this tutorial. You could put it up if you want. It's really up to you and how diverse you are with your wigs. Like I said, I just really wanted this for this Moana tutorial. I think it's perfect for it. And I will be filming a lot more looks with this wig, hopefully. So if you guys are interested in the mare hair, I will leave that link down below. But without further ado, let's get started on this Moana tutorial. Okay, you guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take this foundation that is around two shades darker than me to give myself a tan. My arms are always tanner than my face. I just have a very light complexion, so I always have to make myself look tan just so I can match the makeup look a little bit better. So I am giving myself a tan. That's basically all I am doing. And there are a lot of parts in this video where the lighting picked up the makeup just right and a lot of parts where the makeup made it look more, or not the makeup, but the lighting made it look orange. So I don't understand that. Right now it looks perfect, it looks nice and just tan, but as always, lighting issues. So then I'm just taking this palette right here and using the color called Yara and this is a reddish bronzy color which is perfect because she is very blushy. And I've seen a lot of tutorials on Moana before and people usually comment and say she wouldn't be wearing makeup, she's young and this and that. But I mean, if you watch the movie, like they zoom into her face and she, it looks like they put makeup on her even though she appears to be a young girl. But that's why I'm doing a tutorial, obviously. So I made my cheeks nice and rosy and gave myself a button nose. And I am going to use highlighter. She is pretty matte, but I wanted to give myself that nice natural island look. And when you're on the island, you're usually not very matte. So that's why I did that. I wanted to do something different. And so I'm giving myself some dramatic eyebrows. And right about now is when my camera and lighting started making me look orange. And it did not look like that all in person, but we're just going to have to just ignore that. Um, now I am going to take this Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palette right here and taking this burnt orange brownish color. I'm placing this all over my lids. It does come off as really orange right now, but trust me, once you blend to no end, it's going to blend out nice and beautiful. I really wanted a coral type of burnt orange eyeshadow look because I felt like a lot of the colors that they use on her are very red so that's why I wanted to do that. So as you can see I have this sped up like really fast because honestly it took like four minutes for me to blend this out because I was trying to get it to blend out where it looked nice and natural and not too red but like I said you really really had to blend it out. 
so as you can see I'm still blending <laughs> so I did like this color but I wanted to make it a little bit darker so this isn't the color I was really looking for so I went into my BH palette and I took this darker browns right here mix those two together and then I got the color that I wanted I could have just done that in the beginning, but I don't think it would have given me this red hue that I wanted. So this is all we're doing for eyeshadow. Like I said, this is an everyday Disney series, so it's very easy. Now with my micro felt tip liquid eyeliner, I'm going to create a small wing on my eyes. And I am wearing circle lenses from LensVillage.com just to give myself a more animated doll-like look. And what you're going to do with this liquid eyeliner is you're going to line your waterline. Well, not your waterline, your outer waterline. But first place some white eyeliner. I did white eyeshadow because I, I, that's what I like to do. But then you're going to want to line your outer waterline. Your outer line. <laughs> lower lash line. <laughs> and this is going to give you those doll eyes. And she's got those adorable doll eyes. Then you want to repeat the same on the other eye of course so I just sped through this part just so you guys could see that I'm doing the exact same thing and uh, this was a very easy look to do I thought it was very cute I kind of wanted to wear it out but as always I took it off within the first five minutes I just I'm a powerhouse you know I'm like not powerhouse but a workhorse once I'm done I just have to take it off and just get to work and edit and all this stuff so I just popped some lashes on and these are natural lashes so it gives you a doll like look for the lips I'm taking ginger by Kylie cosmetics and then for the lipstick that I'm gonna put over this I'm giving myself no cupid's bow because she's got nice plump lips I am using Leo by Jeffree Star cosmetics and this will give you that nice reddish brick lip combo that she wears I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next Disney series makeup look Bye.